praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. For the Lord is good. And his mercies endure forever. Our confidence in him grows by the day. Because there is no one like him. We are very privileged people. And because of this great privilege, we live with such confidence. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to look at John chapter 5. Yes, share Bibi Ohiania Sempa, it's re enum. John chapter 5. Yohani Asempa, it's re enum. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went out to Jerusalem. I say, yet, say, now you that phone was first seven, and not yet, so I forgot for Jerusalem. Now, there is a Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool which is in the Hebrew tongue. Called Bethesda, having five porches. Now, I want to no, na I want to say, 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 I want And in this lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind halt, waited, waiting for the moving of the water. Now what I did when I ate a yari for the bread, I go and if I for one I ate quite a year one. Oh, I ate a yari for now. What change say? And see you no ever one. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. And whoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in was made whole of whatever disease of whatsoever disease he had. Sorry. Nana or both for Bia, a brave mono or cosot, a diano, a pono, and say, No be Biara or big dick kind at so a yes, sir, and so ya alum yaria Biara, a one or so no, no, a fee. Now let me just expand shade before I continue. So I've said, O Bia, and Yemenia, Sarah Hansen, what was God in His mercy. Seeing how important the people were sick, halt, all kinds of sicknesses. Will send an angel to trouble the water. Or to quicken the water. And the first person to enter the pool would get healed. You see, this gives the idea sometimes that God is merciful. But he will do it his own time, in his own way. And so I explained one time while teaching on prophecy that sometimes a whole people are ready, they want to hear from God, and just one person receives prophecy, or nobody receives. And it is normal. It is not normal. Jesus wants to break that cycle. Bethesda means house of mercy. So God's mercy is for all of us. Are you listening to me? God's mercy is what? For for all of us. But we need to understand how to tap into this mercy. Now let's continue verse 5. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years. Now, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell Thirty-eight years, good years of sickness. And for this reason, Jesus went there for that man. Yes, so call And when Jesus saw him lie, he knew he had been now a long time in that case and he said unto him would I be made whole now 
Why that question? I mean, why that question at that time? If he wasn't willing to be healed, would he be lying at that pool? I then say, we say, Sabre, send the empire, Risa, and call that a dear new air, yet then. Would I be made whole? So, who be fee? Now, I want to ask you a question. So, for so, beside us, say, in whatever situation you find yourself, but be a beer, will be made whole? To be a beer, oh, no, one so. Oh, I want you to answer this question for yourself. Will thou be made whole? You know what about situation you find yourself in? Oh, I've tried everything. The man said, I've tried everything. They said this daughter is good. I've been there. I've tried this and I've tried this. The situation remains the same. Will thou be made whole? So for my year, so send me here. Matthias, you are so for you. Oh, you are. Oh, yeah, dear pa. Doctor, well, how so? Yeah, dear pa. You pay so up your yeah, dear pa. My year, you know, my money, you know, yeah. And so, as I said, we want a baby. You see, the answers to this holds the key to your becoming as rich in that God has ordained for you. And why out in my ass, I say, we say, a class, a safana, a bet me a ma, why you ran yen yakupo, a sister, dear ma. What is trying to say? God has always been merciful. God has always been ready. God has always provided for the fullness of what humanity will need. But will thou be made whole? You know, you know, it's very easy to shortchange yourself in this life. You are praying, but you are shortchanging yourself in this life. Your situation tells you nothing will change. You are praying and believing, no, 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 nothing will change. And so you are there in that situation. Will thou be made whole? And so, who yet Namsasu a child, yes, Sabra, wait here. I said, beside that, so come out. Who won't a baby? Your willingness to tap into the grace of God makes for a difference concerning your tomorrow. A power war now did well run your coupon at Dumnum and then that is a satray a back. I will who fear baby one way. Would thou be made whole? So, who won't a baby? The important man answered him, Say, I have no man. I have no man. So you see where his eyes are. God's grace is available. We live in Ghana, you see. In Ghana, the culture, I don't know anybody, so I can't get a job. <laughs> He said, Would thou have a job? And What's your answer your... to the Lord is, Lord, I don't know anyone. I have nobody. What's a Ghana? Ghana, my man, so perjuma, adding. Now, I just, yes, yes, and I could pardon a mouth. Now, I say, Oh, why your man, my mother, perjuma, and yet, and yet, mess out. Me, Nim Obia, and ye be so, and too many, would you, Obiana? What is trying to say that if I had a man to help me, I will be whole. I have no man. And listen. When the water is troubled, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, eh, in his weak state, he tries. Whilst I am coming, eh, another steps down before me. Because the one who steps in the pool first when it is stirred gets the breakthrough. Nah. Mommy, I can't help myself. The people are faster than me. They are sick, but they are faster than me. So they get all the breakthrough and I don't. As if you know, Bia, Nasa Yahuno, and Suya, me know Bia, I do better to attack you and put a bramia make a camel or a comuno or be a way. I see me, it's your own of Borum, and then Suno say, and Yah or Dickam Borum, or no Yah, Nayarisa, and Sunipai, one in our Yaridia, Nasa be where I see a bino. 
I'm speaking on Christ, our standard for ministry, our standard in ministry. Christ, so yes, yes, so the man said, I have no man. That is why my situation continues. Oh, maybe it feels like uh, if I can get a man of God very anointed eh, and can lay hands on me to fall under the power, I'll be healed. So, since you don't have that man, you say, I have no man. Before that man received anointing, grace was always already available. Grace was already available. It has always been. That will that be made whole? So we would all be made whole? So who be free? Shall we continue? Yes, yeah, so. Jesus said to him, Yes, you see, no, sir. Rise. Sorry. Take up thy bed. Faukate. Walk. Nanante. I want you to hear the words. Tien simfue. Rise. Sorry. Take up thy bed. Faukate. And walk. Nanante. So the man now has a man. Efe, obere me enya obi. This man is not going to push him into the water. This man speaks life and brings life into any dead situation. That's the ministry God is calling us into. This is what he's calling us into. So now we are not waiting for breakthrough stirrings. God has always been ready. He has always been ready for you. But will that be made whole? So, rise. Sorry. Take up thy bed. And walk. I want you to know the ways. Rise. Take up thy bed. And walk. And immediately, the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said unto him, That was cured. It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. The Jews knew more than God who instituted the Sabbath. He answered them, He that made me whole, the same said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk. He said to me, And then when I obeyed him, This is the result you are seeing. There is something I want us to learn. Just open up your spirit, right? I have come beyond the point of preaching and teaching. I have come to the place of training. Getting people trained to be able to walk in certain dimensions. If they are willing. Shall we continue? 13. And he that was healed was not who it was, for Jesus had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. The first thing you realize here is that Jesus doesn't draw attention to himself. 
Yes, we so and chini pa and ma on one kasani home. No, draw attention. The people see look at me, that, that look at me kind of ministry. Eh, I'm anointed. I'm gift. No, 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 no. His operations were not that way. On ye yet send ya kupa ah or ye be be se or be a mess shame as or yes show boy. There be ne jube deno and yes sign it yet. Because there, there were a lot of multitude in that place, so he carried himself away. Conveyed himself away. Nipa don't be the nature of where she is. It's an answer of four more. Pa or call him. After all, Jesus finds him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest the worst thing come upon thee. Now, I do tell you, yes, because you go, I am sorry for you. Now, I'll say, no, sir, share. Well, what a fee. What is trying to say that sin opens the door for all that sin brought sickness, disease, all kinds of things, curses, and all it opens the door for all those things. Stop sinning, stay righteous, stay whole. And stay <laughs> Yes. And, and therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus and sought to slay him because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. But Jesus answered them. I want you to hear what Jesus said. My father worked here too, and I work. Let's use the NIV so you get exactly what he's saying. <clears throat> For John 5 17. My father is always at his work to this very day. And I too, I am working. Was it major? A year, Juma, a bessie, and ne, a timiso, me, yer, Juma. What is trying to say? Nya, or Patra, what had he say? I am in league with my father. Me name, Med Shano, ye were a yank to ye. He is working, and I am working. Oh, yer, Juma, Miss Me, yer, Juma. He is working, and I am working. Oh, yer, Juma. Verse 18. Therefore, the Jews sought to more to kill him because he not only has broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, making himself equal with God. Then I said Jesus and said unto him. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Yes, so boas say on say no cry, no cry, Miss Simon say. The son can do nothing of himself. Oh, bano, it me free on one pem and ye be bia. But what he sees the father do. No mum ya or who nature say all ye know. The son can do nothing of himself. But what he sees the father do. Now I want you to think about this. So he's working as the father is working. And what he sees the father do is what he does. And that resulted in the man being healed. I want you to just pause a little and think about this. Why do you think God created his image and likeness? <coughs> he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and became a living soul. God has, in addition, put his spirit in us. So we can function like him. Now listen. See, if that is the situation, then we don't have an excuse. 
You see, the people God cannot use are the people who are not sensitive to the Spirit of God. They are not sensitive to the Spirit of God. They don't know the voice of the Spirit. They are not in tune with the Spirit of God. Look, let me tell you something. A lot of people who call themselves Christians, they walk by common sense and by the brain more than by the Spirit. And we are surprised we don't get results in our lives. We are surprised the world can tell the difference between us and the world. Can you hear me? People of the spirit operate differently. They operate by a different law. They function differently. Do you know what I mean? They are not ordinary people. And we are not ordinary people. The son can do nothing of himself. Is a decision. I won't do anything of myself. But what I see the father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the son likewise. Hello. Hi. I mean, think about these scriptures. Just think about the scriptures. But what he sees the father do, for whatsoever things he do, this also does the son likewise. If we begin to live by this principle, our lives are going to be different. This should be our way of life. Verse 21. No, sorry, verse 20. For the father loves the son. Now, listen. Listen to very attentively. For the father loves the son. And shows him all things that himself doeth. And he will show him greater works than these that he may marvel. Hello. Hi. Am I making sense here? Are you getting? You see, there are some things in the scriptures. If you don't get them, you can't walk in them. If you don't get them. For as the father raises up the dead and quickens them, even so the son quickens whom he will. The father loves the son. And so he shows him everything that he does. So the son can do likewise on earth. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Are you getting the picture? 
So, what did Jesus tell that man? Rise up. Sorry. Take up your bed. And walk. So, Jesus saw the Father healing him and Na saying those words to him. So, he also says those words and did exactly what the Father was doing, that he saw the Father do. Yes, Christ, so Tina just said, Oh, Cassa, and some now all sunny yaria, and Tin some not tea, and no, no, catch there, and your yari foy, no, 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 but what I saw the father do. It's not yes, Christo. Catch your brain, I say. And yam yam, who are didn't be permanent, the yea way. Now, mom, yam, you won't make just so yano, and no enemies me yea. You see, when you read the Acts of the Apostles, this is the whole concept of how that book was written. Ya cast my phone, you mana. I answer, say, won't you know, and yea, now no next say, said ya, what trust I ask my phone, you man. When you read the Acts of the Apostles, it's just the beginning and the introduction of how Christians ought to live. How Christians ought to live. In obedience to the Father. They see what the Father is doing and they do what the Father is doing. Is it all right? Are you getting it? Yeah, let me tell you, see, when we talk about subjects like this, we are not trying to say something that is above heaven for us to go and bring it down to you. This is what you are supposed to walk in. It's within you. Yeah, can somebody say? Yeah, can you maybe a boost or a chance or a wasra and see a coffer and yet give me their bro? A yenya, ya catcher, a walk from cry, a sass, ya denanti. This is what you ought to be. Said ya, ya be boy, ya bra, and ya benanti. Think about it. J. Way home. Now, shall we open our Bibles to First Corinthians chapter two? Yeah, I'm called Corinto for ma. A decaying, it's a mu. First Corinthians, Corinto for ma. A decaying, it's a Verse 9. But as it is written, I has not written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, neither has entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. But God, but God, it is very much in his nature, but God has revealed them to us by his spirit. Is that okay? Yes. But God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. By his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. Yea, the deep things of God. And why that the Spirit searches all things, even to the deep things of God, so, he, so that He will reveal them to us. 
Because he wants you to walk in the deep things of God. He wants you to walk in the deep things of God. The deep things of God will have to be your lifestyle. For what man knows the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knows no man but the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world. Now listen, God is speaking to you. Now you have received not the spirit of the world. But the spirit which is of God. But the spirit which is of God. That we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. These things are freely given to us of God. These things we are talking about, they are free given to us. Hello. Hi. You know what it means? It means discerning things of the spirit and receiving things of the spirit should be the normal way of life for every Christian. Wait, say, 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 it should be the normal things. We have functioned in life without a desire for these things. Without a hunger for these things. That is why we are bankrupt when it comes to these things. We are bankrupt when it comes to these things. The kind of atmosphere we need to operate in. It's this normal atmosphere. That we might know the things which are freely given to us of God. Are you listening to me? Yes. God wants us to know the things that are freely given to us of God. So, getting things of the Spirit must not be too difficult for us. Tapping into the Spirit dimension and receiving clarity and information from the things of the Spirit should not be something that should be too difficult for us. You get me? Hello. Hi. That's exactly what it is. Say anything. That's exactly what it is. Say ya, Netie. Your spirit should be in tune with the spirit of God. Spend time meditating in his word. Spend time in prayer. This is how you train your inner man to identify with the spirit of God. Train. And listen. Learn to identify the spirit of God and learn to immediately respond to him. You get what I mean? Learn how to instantly respond to the Spirit of God. I have realized people who move very much in the Spirit have come to the place where they trust 
their instincts. They trust that voice they hear. They trust that deep inner conviction. And they, let, they let it out. When I was in the no, when you are in the room, when you are in the room, what you are in the room, instinct. What think? What you are in the room, what you are in the room, what you are in the room, what you are in the room. Are you listening to me? We all have to just, you understand? <laughs> they trust it. What did he do? What did he do? You are going to sit in the car. Your instinct tells you, no, 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 no. This car, no. Don't sit in it. Don't even mm. argue. Mm. You don't argue. Mm. What do you say? What do you say? Now, what I think, I say, 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 you are buying things on the market, in the market. You get to a place, you want to buy, the goods look nice. But your instinct tells you, no, don't buy from here. Don't argue, move mm. on. Who could you? If you are a person, I just said, yes, and so what think I catch us? I did mention at the piano, I said, Miss Piano, through home, not coming for four. You study for an examination. Where's she at the Akakotos of it? And you study, your instinct tells you, look at this topic, just look at it. What think I catch us? I did shed such a beam, give it our attention. For what do you anyway need a quad ye so? And master it. Let's learn to trust our instincts. Don't, don't, don't everything analyze here. We all went to school, but this one is sharper than this one. Men Because you're going Can you hear me? This is how people the spirit operate. When I was in the room, no, Sakwa is so, and we are here, You get what I mean? What do we say? You can always trust the Holy Spirit. Amen. You have access to all that the Holy Spirit knows. And it's revealing to you. You have access to it. Is that okay? Yes. There are ways in which God speaks to us. There are ways. Let me tell you. I had to learn to train myself to hear the Spirit of God. And once he realized I was very desirous, he began to teach me more. This things that I share with you is about 30 to 40 years old. So it means that when I was in my 20s, I was really experimenting with these things and opening up to these things. It's not just It's a normal way of life. So you struggle with things of the spirit, and I wonder, are you a Christian? Sometimes two people are having a conversation. Not that I'm eavesdrop dropping. But some information comes out in the corner and I hear. I don't understand what they are talking about, but the Spirit of God is telling me there is a substance in this. Hold on to this and give them direction. So, this is what I said. I said, 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 I you get what I mean? In 
1985. I was 27 years old then. I was with a friend. And someone I didn't know came to visit him and they were having a conversation. So I was out of the conversation. And they were having this conversation. And the word Bible school came up. They finished their conversation. The guy went away. When the guy went, I say, I heard Bible school. What is it about Bible school? God is telling me something about Bible school. The door is open. Step into it. So I said, I Bible school. I I that was how that brother stepped into the UK to attend Bible school. The door, he didn't see his way clear, but by that strong way that I gave to him, within 24 hours, everything changed. The question is, if I didn't say anything to him, would he have made any difference? Yes. So I said, I was to I It is when I declare to him uh, that the door opened for him. If I didn't declare, he would still be in a quagmire, wondering what to do. So I had to be there at that moment to give him direction. Are you listening to me? Yes. Yeah. Now listen to me. I've eighteen. The Spirit of God speaks so often. But all of us have become experts at ignoring him. Imagine you have a friend, you keep advising the person, he keeps ignoring you. Will you keep advising? You tell him what to do, he does the wrong thing. He keeps ignoring you all the time. Will you, will you keep giving me information all the time? The Spirit of God has been very patient with all of us here. The day you pick up and begin to listen to me and to run with what he's saying, you will see a meteoric rise in your life. Are you listening to me? A friend was driving on the Spinters Road at top speed. Na. A minister friend, the spirit of God told him, slow down, park the vehicle of the road. So I said, Hey, now that was so for me now, and I'm spinning this road. Now, now, we're here so far. Now, why don't you catch it? Say, to boss, see, Gina, and we see just as he parked off the road. Oh, feel crying, you know, what's not baby, no. The wheel of the car developed a major fault. It had to do with a ball joint or something. Something very and literally disconnected from the vehicle. At that instant, when he slowed down, he just obeyed and just got on the road. It happened. 
na eya ase no na de na e kasa da na se se okoy mie mie mu ekoye ho adwuma na na onye ye so kwa koye o enti e ka se jina o jina ye no e hwa e na sade no esi ye is it let's learn to trust are you listening to what I'm talking about? Yes, yes, yes. We haven't begun the Christian life yet if we are not trusting the Spirit of God. When he speaks, he just what he says. And then he says, he You know, sometimes I dress up. I'm just walking out of the house. The Spirit of God will just tell you something. Then you go back to do exactly what he wants you to do before you come back into the car. What he's telling you it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I just obey. <laughs> when you get there, you realize why. Okay. <laughs> Are you listening to me? Now listen, beloved. What have we If you learn to listen to the Spirit of God, you so can never be wrong. You can never be wrong. You can never be wrong. And I promise you, you can never be wrong. Where there's so full set or say your whole ball, say yen yet in from so. Sometimes you're going through some situation. Even in your health. Listen to what the Spirit of God is saying. The Spirit of God will say, rebuke that sickness. And you behold. Lay hands. And declare. Forget about all that you read. Just obey, just obey him. And the whole secret is in. Jesus put it this way he, he does what he sees the father do for us eh? the spirit of God reveals whatever the father is doing for us to obey same thing, same principle yes You get it? Good. And it should be a way of life. You know, when you look at theology and all that, Paul was actually a Pharisee. You know that? Mm? All that these Jews were saying, Paul believed the same thing. But when he made a switch, it was a different ballgame. <laughs> he didn't behave like those people anymore. He went full blast with the Spirit of God. Let's look at us, chapter 27, please. Are you ready? Yes. Now listen. See. And when it was determined that we should sail into Italy, they developed Paul and certain other prisoners unto one named Julius, 
a centurion of Augustus band. And enter into a ship of the Dramitium, we launch, meaning to sail by the coast of Asia. One Aristarchus, a Macedonian of Thessalonia, Thessalonica, being with us. Now, we borrow a saying, echo, a Dramitius, mu. Now, what they were sending to us, you know, as it says, walk a quarter a a soja Asia, a soja no, now be a friend Aristarchus, ah, no, no, see a Macedonia near Ophi Thessalonica, now a cow. And the next day, we touched a Sidon, and Julius courteously entreated Paul and gave him liberty to go on to his friends to refresh himself. Now, at the Tiamuno, walk on Gina, I was Sidon. Now, I said, Jill, you see, and I'm a book as well. I catch a poor say, or Nancasa, on ya, found ye now, on corn enough for four now, on call to Jonimo. And when we are launched from then, we sailed under Cyprus because the winds were contrary. Now, was I a Simuno? Now, walk, why I suppose. And when we had sailed over the sea of Cilicia and Pamphylia, we came to Myra, a city of Lycia. Now, we Amen. And there the centurion found a ship of Alexandria sailing into Italy and he put us therein. And when we are sailed slowly many days and scarce were come over against Snidus, the wind not suffering us, we sailed on the crate. Over against Salmoni. <laughs> and hardly passing it came unto a place which is called the Fair Heavens. Nigh whereunto was the city of Lassia. Yes. Now when much time was spent. <laughs> The reason why I read this whole background is I want you to see there were contrary winds and oppositions and all that, right? Paul, by the Spirit, is interpreting what is happening. Now, Paul, Sometimes you look at some things happening in the physical, the Spirit of God just gives you an interpretation as to what exactly it is that you declare. And so so now when much time was spent and when sailing was now dangerous because the fast was now already passed, Paul admonished them. Paul said, and said unto them, says, see, Paul is a making an announcement. He said, this one is not trying error. I see where and yes, says. I perceive. He didn't say I saw a vision. Because he didn't see a vision. He didn't say I heard. Because he didn't hear. He says I perceive. There are many ways the Spirit of God will lead us. This is That's a heart impression or an inward witness. 
heart witness. I want you to know this. Look, let me tell you, the Spirit of God lives inside you and He leaves an impression. You need to be able to interpret these impressions. It says, says, I perceive. Random. Hallelujah. Amen. Now listen to me. See. I perceive that this voyage will be with hurt and much damage, not only of the lading and ship. But also of our lives. Around me, dream, Mrs. Sue, I remember who said, And yes, sir, I point to ye, a bay idea, a bay you, and yes, say, yeah, papa sing one, and I say, say, yeah, papa sing, no more young one, young one, so at that in Sanium. Paul is making an announcement. You get what I mean? Yes. I, I want you to clearly understand some of these things as you listen to the Spirit of God. Oh, so you know exactly what you want to do. But you know what? Paul was in the ship. The people didn't listen to Paul. So Paul had to sail on this dangerous journey. At the expense of his life. Ah. And all the people in the ship. But the Lord had mercy. Through the ministry of Paul, the Lord had mercy. Paul in this case it wasn't Paul who disobeyed God by going on that journey he was a prisoner, he had no choice he announced to them but they didn't listen to him now listen to me It's going to be dangerous, not only of the ship, but also of our lives. Now, nevertheless, the centurion believed the master and the owner of the ship more than those things which were spoken by Paul. Paul At a point when the ship was almost kaput. Almost gone. Paul woke up again and said, Says, you should have listened to me and not have sailed from Crete. When you read, you'll find that out. You should have listened to me. Paul, sorry. No, because it's a random. No, because it's a mutiemi. No, when to you and can you From then on. Paul took charge of the ship. Not as a captain, but everybody listened to him. You know what I want to tell you? If you are a man of the spirit, you will lead people wherever you go. The sons of Issachar, who had understanding of the times, eh? all their brethren were at their command. All their brethren are at their command. The one who can hear the spirit of God will always be ahead of the others. And they will listen to Are you listening to me? Yes. What Paul spoke to them came to pass. But the heart impression that he had. He declared unto them 
what is going to happen. Somebody asked for Young Cho, how come you have the largest church in the world? They thought he was going to give them a formula as to how to grow church by some formula. He says, I pray. I pray. And I obey. Shall we say together? I pray. And I obey. What does he obey? When he prays, what impressions the Spirit of God gives him, whatever the Spirit of God says to him in answer to that prayer, he obeys. This is the key to your progress in life. This is the key. Pray. And obey. A lot of people pray, but they don't obey. Pray. Obey. Now turn to someone and say, pray. 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 And obey. And obey. And obey. Therein is the secret. You move forward in life with this kind of secret. It will make all the difference. You will know what to do. You will know how to navigate the difficult situations in this life. When you face obstacles, pray. And obey. Now you sit here. Pray. Bompire. And obey. Now you sit here. And obey. Now you sit here. So let me tell you. And it's here, baby. We all have to be masters of things of the spirit. As I say, you know, yeah, yeah, a run, a wahoo, who money, ma. Once things of the spirit have been. That you're receiving information. We need to be masters at these things. Masters at sensitivity to the spirit. So we can master our obedience. We won't miss out on things of the spirit. We are going to honor the spirit of God. And I wish that from today in your prayer, the Spirit of God, teach me sensitivity. Now, so teach so me your... how you speak to me. I don't want to ignore you again from today, all the days of my life. I don't want to ignore you again for the rest of my life. I feel Enough I of, the, of, of ignoring you. I want to be spot on. Spot on. When it comes to things of the spirit. I want to be spot on. Can you hear me tonight? Yes. Are you listening to me? Can you yes. hear me? Yes. Look, <laughs> look, if you don't pray and obey, your life will stagnate. Well, there are a lot of Christians, they, are, they are marking time. They are stagnating for years. So. Well, Not because yeah. God doesn't care, but because he's been speaking, they are ignoring him for years. They mark time. Uh-huh. In the journey of the children of Israel to the wilderness, eh? Israel for a point to a western sono. God gave them the pillar of fire mm, by night and the pillar of cloud by day. Oh Jafedumu or the Mawon. 
They didn't know the way to the promised land. They followed. They followed. The pillar of fire. Pillar of fire. Spirit of God is doing the same in your life today. He's doing the same in your life today. Is exactly what he's doing. When you stop following, so we just say we did it. You stagnate. And when you stagnate, the manna will not fall because you stop moving. Manna ninja, I trust say, would they won't try a monty? Uh huh. The manna will stop. You will starve, and you will die. Manna ninja, I come back to. Is it making sense to anybody here? Oh, a lot of the things of the spirit begins with a decision. Now, who would never so obey in your choice or power obey? Will that be made whole? So, will be fee? Will that be made whole? So, will be fee? As long as you are not walking in his dimension, we are not whole. Would I be made whole? So, who be fee? Would I be made whole? I want you to bend down your heads wherever you are. I want you to mean business. Talk to God tonight in a way you've never spoken to him before. I don't know how hungry you are. But I say, will thou be made whole? So, will thou be made whole, my dear? So, will thou be made whole? Talk to God tonight. This is the way to go. This is the way to your future. This is your way into your promised land. Coming into your fullness. This is the way. Walk in it. This is the way. This is the way to go. Father, we give, we give you praise. We give you praise, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. May your holy name be praised. May your holy name be praised, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Teach us, Lord. Train us, Lord. To be people of the Spirit. Bring us to the place where we are accurate in the spirit. By training, we become accurate. And we walk by the spirit. Living no stone on ten. <coughs> but going all out. And experiencing all the kind of results you have for us. Will thou be made whole? So, will thou be made whole? So, step into the dimension God has for you. You don't have to wait for any man. You are in the house of mercy. Grace abounds. There is no limit to the dimension you can walk in. It all depends on you. Will that be made whole? It all depends on you, my dear. Will that be made whole? Will that be made whole? You might be speaking sometimes. The Spirit of God just gives you a check. Stop it. Don't talk any further. 
might be worrying. He gives you a check. Don't worry any longer. You have become faithless. He says, stop being faithless. Water be made whole. So, Water be made whole. So, May you walk in your new strength. In a full dimension of who, who God created you to function in. That there will be no limitation. As to how far you can go. What God has destined for you. To get to where he had destined for you to get to. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. And keep you. And satisfy your hunger. For things of the spirit. And help you to retrace your steps. And the direction, steps. And the direction that he has for you. As a person. In Jesus name. Amen and amen. Amen. amen.